Hi friends, welcome back to Faith and Arrow Homestead. My name is Jaylee and today I'm going to show you how to make whipped cream. You guys know on this channel that I'm always trying to show you how to um, make items that you could buy from the grocery store yourself at home to save you money as well as to spare you from all of the icky ingredients that are often found in the store-bought versions. Making your own whipped cream at home is so very easy and it's only three easy ingredients. So the very first thing that I advise you to do, whatever bowl you decide you're going to make your whipped cream in, Stick it in the fridge or the freezer for a few minutes while you're getting everything put together so that the bowl is nice and cold. The other piece of equipment that you're going to need is a, a hand mixer. You can absolutely use a stand mixer. And if you're going to double or triple, quadruple this recipe to make a lot of whipped cream, I would make it in the stand mixer. But if you're just making the one serving, I find it very um, unnecessary and the hand mixer works just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of my equipment ready on my counter. I have my chilled bowl, my uh, hand mixer is ready to go. I've got vanilla, powdered sugar, and the last ingredient is heavy cream. I'm actually really excited because for the very first time, I am going to be making whipped cream using um, the, cr the heavy cream that I um, skimmed off of my raw organic grass-fed milk that I get from a local farm. This is real unpasteurized cream and I'm so excited to be using it uh, to make whipped cream today. I had this in my freezer for just a few minutes, getting nice and chilled. There is a sweet spot when you're making whipped cream at home because if you whip it for too long, it will start to get chunky. You're turning it into butter um, and you obviously don't want to uh, whip it for too short of amount of time or it'll be watery. You're looking for stiff peaks and there's a sweet spot where you can get those really nice peaks. And that can be um, made easier if you use really cold ingredients. So having a chilled bowl and having really cold cream can help you get exactly what you're looking for. So to this bowl, we're gonna go ahead and add in our two cups of cream. I've always used the same ratio when making um, homemade whipped cream and it's two cups of cream, half a cup of powdered sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla. That's what I've always done. I'm sure there are probably other ways on the internet to do it, but that's my uh, what I'm sticking to. We've got our two cups of cream. We've got half a cup of powdered sugar. And then I say about a teaspoon, but it really, I just kind of put in a splash. Okay, now it's all in the mixing in how your um, whipped cream ends up, how cold your ingredients are and how you do your mixing. So using a hand mixer, you're going to start by putting it on the lowest speed. You do that because this powdered sugar, if you start, if you come in hot with the mixer, it's gonna give you a powdered sugar to the face. So you really need to start out nice and slow. I'm gonna talk to you using a voiceover as we do our mixing, but you're going to very slowly increase your speed. So you're going to mix it on low for a 30 seconds, and then you're going to increase to the next speed for a little bit and then to the next speed for a little bit and you're going to end up at full speed and it's at full speed that you will start to see your stiff peaks and then you can slowly back it down to a slower speed. So as I said, we're starting out on a low speed first and once the ingredients are combined, I go ahead and bump it up to the next speed. We're gonna keep it here for a bit, moving around bump it up again, you're going to notice start to get frothy. Bump it up again, keep it moving. Now you're going to notice I brought my other hand up to support the weight of the mixer and it got me thinking. If you are disabled in any way, it might behoove you to use a stand mixer if you have one. It took me about five minutes of constant mixing to get this to turn into whipped cream, which is pretty standard for me. Um, and of course I have the ability, even though it does get a little tiring to do this, but no shame whatsoever if you need to use your stand mixer, that's totally fine. I eventually just switched to using my other hand. And here I bumped the speed the last bit to full speed. Notice how thick our mixture is starting to look. It's almost looking like pudding. Keep it at full speed for the rest of the time. 
And here we go. So you can see how quickly, once it turns, it really starts to turn. And we are starting to see our stiff peaks. Now you can continue to mix it like this for a, for a few seconds, but just be careful because once it starts to turn to butter, there's no going back from it. Um, so just be cautious. But as you can see here, the longer we mix it, the stiffer it gets. And gosh, that is just really, really pretty whipped cream. All right, you guys, let's taste this whipped cream. Now, I like doing it this way because the half a cup of powdered sugar gives it a nice sweetness without it being overwhelmingly sweet. I'm not a frosting person. I really don't like frosting. When I eat cupcakes, I take the frosting off. Um, and so I don't like that sicky, sweet whipped cream, frosting, none of that. And so this is subtly sweet, which I really enjoy. Oh, wow. I forgot for a moment that I was using heavy cream from the, the cream from my milk. Wow. That flavor is very complex. <laughs> that is delicious. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. Oh, I'm so excited. I cannot wait for the day that I have a dairy cow. Um, but in the meantime, I am very fortunate to have an excellent, excellent resource for um, organic, unpasteurized, um, grass-fed milk. However, um, if you want to make your own whipped cream at home, you can just purchase heavy cream from the store and that's totally fine. I did that for years while I was making my own whipped cream. There's no problem with that whatsoever. I have milk on the stove warming right now because the way that I wanna present this whipped cream to you is by putting it on top of hot chocolate. Now I have a homemade hot chocolate mix recipe and it is in the video, my easy baking mixes video that went viral that has almost half a million views, crazy. Um, and I've had so many people ask me um, for that recipe, like written version. So I'm finally going to put this recipe up on my website. That'll be linked down in the description. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put together a cup of hot chocolate because it is February. I have been battling a cold and that just sounds delicious. I'm gonna use my Bahamas cup because it was this time last year that Tom and I were getting ready to go to the Bahamas. Oh, I wish we were going to the Bahamas this year, but I am very glad that we are going to be home this year because I am taking gardening very seriously this year and I am so excited to start my seeds and I had to abandon them for a week last year. Uh, to go to the Bahamas. So I'm very, very excited to do some seed starting. Hopefully in the next, I think I'm going to start my first round of seeds in the next two and a half weeks, two weeks. All right, my milk is nice and warm. Oh yeah. Oh, this is going to be good. Let's see if you can see it. There's my homemade hot chocolate mix. So good. All right, for the sake of the video and my own pleasure, we are going to put a big dollop of whipped cream on this. Oh yeah. Ooh, it's so good. All right, you guys. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm, the warm hot chocolate with the cool whipped cream on it. And that hot chocolate is luxurious being made with the milk. Mm, so, so good. All right, you guys, thanks for hanging out with me for another great recipe. I hope that you give this homemade whipped cream a try. Um, you can use it immediately. You can store it in the fridge for, I think the most I've ever stored it in the fridge was like three days. Um, and then I've heard you can store it in the freezer. I've never tried. Um, so maybe look into that if that's something you're interested in doing, but it's a, so easy to make your own whipped cream and the applications are just endless. I think I'm going to use what I have here today to make Tom a chocolate silk pie. It's his favorite pie and I have pie crust that's been in the freezer for a while that I need to use up. So I think I'm probably going to give that a shot and uh, bless my husband with a tasty dessert. So thanks again for hanging out with me. I can't wait to see you in my next video. Have faith, my friends, and keep moving forward. Bye.